Good morning. It's an honor to welcome you to the Islip Academic Center 2020 graduation. My name is Susan Boltz and I'm the principal at Islip Academic Center and Outreach House. With us today are our graduates, their families, and their friends, as well as the Islip Academic Center staff. Our special guests today include our Eastern Suffolk BOCES board members, our Eastern Suffolk BOCES administration, our component school district representatives, as well as our community partners. On behalf of the Islip Academic Center staff, we are very grateful that you were able to come here today and join us. Our 21 graduates have all worked very hard during the uncertain times of this pandemic and during this time of great social unrest. They are truly amazing young men and women who have also overcome tremendous obstacles in their educational lives to get here today. Their stories are complex and multifaceted and their journeys have not always been easy, but rest assured, each of them bring a more polished version of their educational selves to their diploma day. Graduates, welcome to your next great adventure. Your lives are just beginning we have worked together on your plans, so stand tall as you take your next steps. Call us and let us know how you are do doing, because we still will care about how you are. We wish you much happiness and success, and may you and your families and friends stay safe and well. To all of our guests, thank you for all you have done. We could not get here today without you. Please join me and my assistant principal, Mr. James Muller, in celebrating our students as they graduate today. Stand by for an amazing presentation in honor of our graduates. Thank you. James Muller, Assistant Principal of ISAB Academic Center. If you would all now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mm -hmm. present the class of 
and gentlemen, we will now hear from our staff as they present to you the ISAP Academic Center graduates of 2020. Ray John, I'm glad to be able to congratulate you on your graduation. It's been a roller coaster. I'm proud because there were times when I didn't think we would get here. And you know you can recall those times. But we made it. Now the real work starts. Just like you focused in school to meet your requirements, you will have to continue this going forward. Stay focused and determined and you will accomplish your goals. Good luck and God bless. And I'm gonna miss you, man. Congratulations, Jack. I'm so proud of you for achieving your diploma today. I met Jack two years ago in my US history class. The bell would ring and Jack would come right on time. I have to say thank you, Jack, for all the time for giving my legs a rest every six period. I will miss the funny conversations between us that would leave me laughing for the rest of the period. One of my favorite topics we would discuss while we waited for class to start would be about video games and how you thought you would beat me in anything. Just a friendly reminder, I will beat you in any video game, anytime, anywhere. Another conversation that had left me laughing was when we had told you how Miss Hinnon does not like cheese on her pizza. You were frozen in shock. Yes, Jack, not all people like cheese. I've had the pleasure to watch Jack grow into a young, mature adult over these past years that I'm positive he will be successful in anything he pursues. I hope you will continue to stick with barbering and maybe I'll finally let you cut my hair. You've worked so hard to graduate high school. Be proud of yourself. This is an amazing achievement to earn. Me and Mr. Gallo will miss having you in the back cave. We wish you the best of luck in whatever you decide to do in the near future. Makai, I just want to let you know, we're all so proud of you. Congratulations. I met Makai two years ago, and when he first came to us, he was a pain in my butt. He was never in class, and if he was in class, he was extremely disruptive and always on his cell phone. And he would give me a headache for the rest of the day. Eventually, Makai had turned everything around and became super focused on the goal of completing high school. Makai, I cannot stress to you enough how proud I am of you. You had done a full 360 from being extremely immature to turning into a mature young adult with his goals and priorities in check. I haven't talked to you since January, but I miss our daily economic worksheets. Hopefully, you become a millionaire, and when you do, don't forget about me. I'm confident in saying, I know whatever your future holds, you will be prepared to crush whatever comes your way. Me and Mr. Gallo and Ms. Galarza all wish you the best of luck, bud. And once more, congratulations. I'm truly honored to be here today to talk about Javante Brown. I know a lot of us have known Javante since the good old sandbox days of Center Reach Academic Center. I'm grateful to have seen so many changes and growth within Javante over the past few years. I am thankful to be a part of Javante's life and been a part of some ups and downs with him, and I look forward to being part of his future in which we hear about more highs than lows to come his way. As I reflect on being Javante's counselor, I would like to think that I've taught him a lot of lessons, but really I think he's taught me more than I've taught him. So I'm gonna share some of the things I've learned from Javante over the past few years. Without Javante, my slang vocabulary would not be where it is today. No cap in Javante. My lingo's Gucci good two times because of you. Without Javante, I would miss out on so much gossip because I need Javante to always put me on to what's going on. I would miss out on so much music because once DJ Javante comes on, you know it's gonna be some fire beats coming your way. And without Javante, I'd probably be wearing the same basic outfits with the same basic shoes all the time because I need Javante to let me know when my fits are fire and keep me updated on the latest shoe game. And lastly, without Javante, I wouldn't even know the days of the week because I need Javante's constant reminder of the day of the week to remind me of our counseling schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Javante. It has truly been an honor and sometimes a headache but more often than not, an honor working with Javante the past few years. 
Devante. You truly have had some difficult struggles and losses over the past few years, and you've become stronger because of them. I know that your friends are proud of you. I know that your family's proud of you. I know Jai Field would be proud of you. And I hope you know that we're so proud of you for making it to this place today. We are always here to support you. Your heart is made of gold, and I hope that you know that you're stronger than you know. We all know your body, Javante. We know you're capable of such great things, so now get out there and show us. Congratulations on your graduation, and best of luck for your future to come. I want to start by thanking administrators, faculty, and staff for being the village and getting us to this graduation day. I've been Naquan Bussey's social worker for the past three years. It's been a privilege to know Naquan Bussey. When I first met Naquan, he was a familiar spirit to me. I had spent five years in Wyandanne School District as a social worker and worked closely with his sister, and they looked so much alike. Once we made this connection, we immediately bonded. My first impression of Naquan was his resilience and the manner that he dealt with his problems. Despite his difficult living situation at that time, he always had a positive temperament. Another impression I had with Naquan is his unrelenting energy and real early in the morning too. He would always come to school with his hyped up energy and mischievous joy of torturing our staff with his nudginess, if that's a word. First thing every morning, Naquan would be waiting at my door asking to see if to see me first thing, first period, and trying to make all his appointments for the day. <laughs> I would always shoo him away, and if he missed the morning, I would go looking for him. I'm going to miss Naquan. On our first impressions of getting to know each other, Naquan and I learned to play Monopoly Deal and Connect Four. This pastime became an ongoing battle of the wits for the rest of the three years together. In the beginning, Naquan couldn't beat me, but soon he began to be a worthy opponent. Although I don't like to admit to him, but today I will, he was good. I will tell you why. I learned a lot about Naquan in playing these games with him. As you should know, Naquan is a private person and does not like to speak about himself too much. But here's what I've learned about him. Naquan is a very astute learner. He learns quickly and thinks things through if he wants to win. Naquan was open to learning a new game and he learned the, the rules too, especially when I would change them on him. Another thing I learned is that Naquan does not give up easily. Through all his losses with me, he remained patient, graceful, and persistent to win. His losses to our games did not discourage him, but made him return for more beatings. He learned my weaknesses and would usually ask me to play if I was distracted so that he could win. Naquan has a positive energy that makes one comfortable with him. He is also a very social person and easy to get along with, especially in game playing. His joy for the competition and the game made him a worthy opponent in all the pursuits of his life. So Naquan, having these characteristics of intelligence, persistence, and positive energy, it is a wonderful recipe for your success in the future. Naquan, I want you to take all that you have learned through our game playing and use it in the pursuit of your goals. Remember, it does not matter if you win or lose, only if you stay in the game. I'm happy to be a part of your graduation celebration. Best of luck in all you do. I have a feeling we'll see you again and doing great things. Congratulations, my worthy opponent. You have won. You are a high school graduate. I would like to leave you with a quote from Albert Einstein. You have to learn the rules of the game, and then you have to play better, better than anyone else. Here's another quote that reminds me of you from Gary Gaggins. Games give you a chance to excel, and if you're playing in a good company, in good company, you don't even mind if you lose because you have the enjoyment during the course of the game. You have the enjoyment of company during the course of the game. You were good company, and I will miss playing with you. Congratulations. And I'm talking on behalf of Julian Durantes. Uh, congratulations, it's graduation day, you made it. Um, you have driven me crazy in the process of making it here. Let me see, I met you my first year, Ms. Victor was your counselor, and by the end of that year, you kept telling me, you're gonna be my counselor, Miss. You'll see next year, you're gonna be my counselor. And I kept saying, no, I won't. You get into too much trouble, no, I won't. Yet that September, I found myself asking Ms. Victor, can I take Julian off your hands? 
I don't know what I was thinking because then you proceeded to drive me crazy for the next two years, but in a good way, in a way that clearly I liked because I didn't try and get rid of you. Um, so you have been with us for many years and in that time we've watched you grow. I've heard about your personality and characteristics before I got here and there's definitely a huge change, including in your hair. It's huge. Um, but it's a good change because you made it to graduation day, you are graduating and you've matured into a young man that I wanted on my caseload and not the one I met three years ago. Um, I know that whatever you do next, you are going to do well because I've had your cooking. And if you stay on the culinary path, I will go to whatever restaurant you work in because it's great. And I have the confidence in you that your skill is only going to get better. Um, so congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Um, and yeah, I guess I did become your counselor. Like you said, you are a wise man. I've been Amber Fabasi's social worker for the past two years. Amber and I, and I met two years ago, and when we first met, I didn't think we would get along since I thought we came from two different worlds. But hesitantly, we began to build a great relationship, and we had more in common than I thought. When I think of Amber, I think of the proverbial bull in the china shop. And boy, if you're China, something will break. You will also, she will also break your heart. Amber's a true warrior. She is doing, she is, she has endured such heartache and losses in her life. Yet she has such a great sense of humor and she can make you laugh really hard. She's a philanthropist at heart. She's a very loyal friend and will take on their causes to her dismay and will give up her last dollar for them. She has an unwaning love for the elderly and children. Everyone in between, she just tolerates. <laughs> Amber has a knack for fashion and makeup. She does not like her pics taken, only the pics she takes, which I may say always look fabulous. Amber's persistent and a great advocate for herself and others. She has a kind heart. She is not shy and not afraid to be who she is. When she feels things are unhappy and she is unhappy, whew, the school would shake with her disapprovals and demands. I'm going to admit that I will miss my Amber Alerts, which involved her loud entrances into the school building, making her entitled demands to see me for the rest of the day. Amber's a big personality and she has big dreams, and I believe will come true if she applies self-discipline. I would like to finish with a quote from Zig Zagler. Difficult roads always lead to beautiful destinations. I want you to know, Amber, that I'm proud of you, of who you are, and your accomplishments. Congratulations, you're a high school graduate. Here today to talk on me. Congratulations, it's graduation day, you made it. Sam started with us mid-year, so we haven't had him very long. But in that short period of time, I've gotten to know him well. Probably too well for his liking because I call him on all his stuff. And I don't let him get away with anything. But clearly he likes it. That's why he picked me. Um, so what can I say about Sam? Um, he's had a tough life. And despite that, he's made it to graduation day all on his own. And that's why I know that whatever he decides to do next, he's going to take his artistic flair and his perseverance and he's going to turn his life into something great because he's a survivor and that's what he does. And so I have nothing but the highest expectations for you, Sam. Although I will say, don't become an art teacher because you said you would be able to teach me to draw before you left. And we both know I can't draw a stick person. So not the career choice for you. Anyway, congratulations. I'm so proud of you and happy graduation day. And I have the distinct privilege to speak about my student, Ryan Hank, a graduating senior for the class of 2020. I want to first congratulate you, Ryan, and I would like to also congratulate your classmates for graduating this year. Now, Ryan, he started in the fall with us. Uh, when he came to Islip, he was not very much a rah-rah guy. You know, he came, he knew that he needed the credits in order to graduate high school. Prior to coming to us, he had passed all his Regents exams, so it was just a situation where he needed to just complete the classwork and get out the rest of the year. 
Now, in the beginning, it took some time for Ryan to get accustomed to that. But with the support from his teachers, his counselor, Miss Elizabeth Lee, and from his father, Ryan was able to finally get on track and start finishing up his senior year. Then, unfortunately, a global pandemic hit. It's something that we could not have ever predicted and hopefully we never experience again. Now, once that happened, we started an online learning program and I was a little concerned with Ryan because Ryan sometimes needs that little nudge. He needs, the, he needs someone over his shoulder. But as the days and weeks would go by for quarantine, Ryan's work started flooding in. It got to the point where I didn't even have to remind him that he had assignments to do. He would just go on his laptop or his iPad, do his assignments, get his work done, and be on his way and continue living his life. Ryan has what we know as a mixture of book and street smarts. And Ryan, if you keep that attitude of working hard and being a smart guy, you're gonna go far. You're gonna go real far. I wish you nothing but luck and success in your future. And considering that you were able to graduate high school during a global pandemic, it only goes to show that nothing can stop you once you put your mind to something. Again, I wish you luck. I miss you. I hope this never happens again. And come visit when we're allowed to. Be well. Congratulations to you and to the rest of the class of 2020. Privilege today of speaking about our IAC class of 2020 graduate Cloyd. Cloyd has been an exceptional student here at IAC. He possesses many traits which have proven that he has not only become a successful high school graduate, but a well rounded, hard working, compassionate young man. I have had the pleasure of watching Cloyd's way of thinking mature as he's been a student here with us at IAC. Cloyd is always the first to defend others from judgment no matter the circumstances. Whether it be in a conversation between the two of us during a class discussion or even myself overhearing him speaking with a group of his peers, Cloyd's always saying, you don't know what they're going through. You ain't walking their shoes. Things may be hard for them. You don't know how they grew up. These words of compassion from Cloyd serve as proof he has the ability to see from different perspectives. This is something I hope we can all take into consideration, especially during hard times like these. Cloyd, you have taught me so much over the past few years. Yes, how cliche, the student becoming the teacher. Cloyd has taught me to have patience. He has taught me when I thought I lost my patience, I somehow have more patience. And he has taught me that even when I think I have no patience left at all, I somehow come up with even more patience. Cloyd, even though you managed to somehow break everything you touched in our classroom, and you would sometimes refuse to get on the bus before I braided your hair and in some type of insanely difficult pattern, you have shown us that you have the skills to be successful in any trade you choose. Your dedication, hard work, diligence, and ability to finish a task in a timely manner will ensure you to be an asset to any trade you choose. I would like to congratulate you. You did it. Even though these were times where you thought it was too rough, where you thought things were tacky, and even though there were some times where it seemed easier to give up, you pushed through it, and with your logical thinking and determination, you did it. Congratulations, Cloyd. You are officially a class of 2020 graduate. I wish you all the luck. Your future is bright. You will do great things. I remember looking at the weekly news this year and seeing a re-entry meeting for Xavier. I remembered how exciting he kept my days at Center H, so I immediately claimed to have him on my caseload. Looking back on this, I'm not really sure if this was one of my better decisions. Just kidding, it's been such an honor working with Xavier again this year. Having Xavier this year showed us that he's no longer the boy who's trying to run out the Center H Academic Center doors after being in school for a half hour, but instead he's a man with a purpose now. I was so excited to hear about the changes in the growth that Xavier has gone through since we've last seen him. I love to hear about his life, his journey, and most importantly, his sons. Xavier truly glows when he talks about being a father and it's such an honor to see that. 
this year, Xavier has found his niche in the barbershop classroom, which I am so proud of him for. He possesses skills, capabilities, and a charm that not everyone has. Anyone who comes in contact with Xavier in this environment cannot deny the skills and the charm that he has. I'm sure that these will take him such great places and I look forward to hearing about it in the future. Xavier, I thank you for teaching me that my paper towel roll can be the size of a basketball if you really want it to be. I also won't forget all the smells of cologne that you have brought into my office over the past few years. And always remember, if you see a red phone, do not pick it up. Congratulations on your graduation and I look forward to all the great things coming your way. Best of luck. Hello, my name is Luke Mahoney and I'm the cosmetology and barbering teacher here at the Islip Academic Center. First off, let me congratulate all of our graduates. Some of you I've known for five years since we were at the Center Reach Academic Center and I'm proud that you're graduating but come September, it's gonna seem very strange not to see you walk in these halls. I wish you all the best, and I hope that you succeed with whatever life brings you. Today, I'd like to share one of my students with you, Kalel Ken McCourt, who's been a cosmetology student of mine this past year. We've been through a lot, but the two of us, with the help of Miss Elizabeth Lee, have found a greater peace and understanding to make it through this challenging academic year. Through good times and bad, laughing, singing, dancing, and spending time just talking seriously about life, our futures, and what life means to us. Ken, when I think of you, it reminds me of The Wizard of Oz and the story of Dorothy. She meets three friends, the Tin, Woodsman, the tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Cowardly Lion. And on their journey to the Emerald City to meet the wizard, she's trying to find a way to get back home. To me, Ken, the, the Straw Man wanted a brain. The Tin Man wanted a heart. The Cowardly Lion wanted the courage. Ken, you found all those things, and all those things are within you. As Dorothy wanted to find her home, I want to share with you, Ken, that wherever you are, I want you to be comfortable knowing that that's your home and where you're supposed to be. You've got so much talent. You're artistic. You are creative. Your hairstyling, your makeup, your nails, your sense of fashion and style set the bar high for everyone. I will miss you greatly. I hope that we will always stay in touch. I hope that Miss Lee, you and myself will be able to have a reunion in the near future to sit down and laugh about some of the antics that we've been through. Again, congratulations. You are graduating. You are moving on to something bigger, better, and greater. You're leaving our one hallway, IAC, which became your runway. You made that runway and you worked it. Now you have the runway of the world. Take advantage of it. Move, do whatever you can. I just want you to be happy. I know you will be successful. I want you to be at peace with yourself. I want you to love yourself and the person you want to be. My best wishes always, virtual hug. So before I start, I just wanted to say congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. I'm gonna be doing my speech on Isaiah. Isaiah and I first met in September of 2019. He was very reserved at first, but once he let down his walls, I got to see what an amazing and wonderful personality he has. Oh, and did I mention smart? Isaiah would sit in class seemingly not paying attention, but would pass all of his tests with flying colors. And don't be fooled. He might say he doesn't care, but he cares. He doesn't say it with his words, but his actions definitely show it. You've made it through this whole crazy year. You're graduating and I'm so, so very proud of you. Hello, Zach. Um, giving your speech for graduation is a little funny given the fact that it's on a uh, 
you know, cell phone, video. But um, it's not going to take away from the message I have to say today. So um, we've been together for a very long time, about four years. Got you in your ninth grade, and now I'm seeing graduate and senior. It's been a very long time. Um, from where you started to where you are, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of everything you accomplished. I'm also very um, hopeful that you're going to continue to improve uh, for the future. You went from being a kid that, you know, had difficulty handling not getting a soda, <laughs> which is something I'll always remember, to now almost an adult that can handle a job, uh, can be uh, self-motivated, and you're able to do the right thing. Um, we have a very close relationship, me and you, and I appreciate that and I value that. Out of the 13 years I've been doing this, you're always, I'm always going to remember you and the connection we had, um, you, me being able to mentor you and you taking my direction and you actually, you know, caring enough to respect me enough to um, listen to me. Um, and really, it was more it was more of a friendship as well as a, a mentor student relationship. I considered you um, a friend, you know, you and, you know, our other buddy. Um, it's kind of hard, you know, it's kind of hard to see you go. You know, I'm going to miss you. Um, you had a, a pro profound impact on me to show me that, you know, that there's kids that are able to overcome so much like you have and make so many strides in the right direction. I'm very proud of you. And as you know, I'll always be there for you in any kind of way you need and also to mentor you. Zach, congratulations and good luck, buddy. Although you weren't in mine and Mr. Rosso's class this year, you somehow always managed to find your way into E6 and my snack draw. I will miss, your, miss you talking your way <clears throat> into hanging out with Mr. Rosso and myself during our off period and talking to us about life and what you wanted to do after high school. You always knew how to make us laugh and we always enjoyed talking to you about years past when you were in our class and all the fun we had. You brought a smile to every staff member's face at IAC, and I can speak for everyone when I say you will truly miss that. Ruben, you have so much light inside of you. Never let anyone or anything dim that light. Never let anyone tell you you can't achieve something because you can. You have not only shown me but yourself that it doesn't matter how hard life knocks you down, but that you can get up stronger than before. School will not be the same without you next year. <clears throat> I will miss you so much, but I cannot wait to see all of the amazing things your future has to offer. I want you to always remember that I will always be in your corner rooting for you. It's hard to put into words just how proud of you I am. You have overcome so much, and when giving up seemed like the easiest choice, you rose above it and you found a way to push through. You have never let any speed bump in the road stop you from achieving your goals. I hope that you always remember that. Congratulations on your high school graduation. I hope you're as proud of yourself as I am of you. I had the privilege of meeting Edison this year and being his counselor. I am upset that our time together has been cut short, but I am thankful for telecommunication with Edison throughout all of this. I really enjoy staring at Edison's ceiling for our whole FaceTime sessions. I appreciate him texting me 15 times in one minute if I do not answer him quick enough. And I love him trying to change the conversation on the phone, especially when I bring up schoolwork. I mean, he's just trying to tell me happy Friday on a Thursday. Edison has truly shown us what a dedicated student he is, especially if there's food as a motivation and a reward. He has quickly shown us how brilliant he is and how strong he has become in his short amount of time with us. Edison has worked so hard to keep up with his schoolwork, even with many barriers along the way. He has focused on earning his level and remaining on reward even throughout virtual schooling. I'm truly sorry that we didn't get more time together, Edison, but I knew that I was always going to be your favorite, even with more or less time. I don't even know why you thought it was going to be so ready for a little bit. Congratulations on your graduation and best of luck for everything coming your way. Uh, I have the pleasure of speaking on behalf of Hayden Scalisi for the class of 2020. Now, I got the opportunity to meet Hayden last year, and 
when she came to my class, she was she was motivated to want to get the work done. Um, you know, she was always able to. I would be able to give her an assignment, and she would just get it done. And uh, some days, where I'd be teaching a class, Hayden would pop in with a little comment here, a little comment there, and I, I would absolutely love it. She'd have the class up in roars. Um, this year. She came in motivated to want to finish high school and want to get it done before the end of the school year. And she was able to graduate in January with the necessary credits and the necessary coursework. Um, she was always motivated to do the right thing this year. She wanted to grow up and become an adult. And I have to say, I am very proud of all the progress she's made. Uh, I was very privileged to teach her for the past year and a half, and I wish her nothing but good fortune and good luck for the years to come. Congratulations to you, Hayden, and hopefully we'll see you soon. As I'm out here practicing proper social distancing, I'd like to say a few words about Ariel Serrano Ochoa as he graduates this June. If I had to associate a word with Ariel, the word that comes to mind first is proud. And I mean this in the best sense of the word, not overly proud. Ariel is the good proud, the type of proud that really this country was founded on. He walks tall, but respects others' space. He looks you in the eye when talking, out of mutual respect. He speaks his mind, but not to quiet other opinions, just to state his. Occasionally, I've even witnessed him changing his opinion based on listening to what others have to say. Occasionally. Other ways to describe Ariel? Smart, funny, athletic, hardworking. Even during this unprecedented time of quarantines and lockdowns, Ariel is working hard, both at his job and with his schoolwork through distance learning. I guess we can add another word to his descriptors. Essential. So I'll wrap this up and say, Ariel, keep being who you are. Keep up the good work and stay proud. I'm proud. We're all so proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, Carson, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, as you know, I'm here today to give you a graduation speech. Um, I still remember when you first came to my class. That was my, one of my favorite years of teaching and all the years that I've been doing this. Uh, me, you, our buddy, and everybody else. We had such respect for each other. We worked well together, we worked hard together. We had fun together. It was one of my favorite years. In the last two years, I've always, you know, we've always had a good relationship. We always checked in with each other. In fact, just in my classes, I was able to come to you um, if you needed support and vice versa. Um, now you move forward to be an adult. Um, I have faith that you're gonna do the right thing and that you're gonna make a very good life for yourself. Um, you're a very smart and talented kid. And I think that you're gonna do well. Um, of course, I'm gonna miss you. You know, it's, um, it's very rare that I have a student that um, that I consider more than the student mentor relationship. And I kind of consider a friend, you know, over the years made each other laugh. You know, um, I respected you as uh, the person you are, and I know that you can continue to do the right thing. I just want you to know that, you know, like I said in class many, many, many times, just move forward with the right foot. I know you can do it, and I have utter faith that you're gonna do it. Um, you know, once you move past the school and you go into the real world, you can always reach back to me and the other staff that you know you respect and always went to. Um, but to be here for you, I want you all the success in the world, and I know you can do it. Congratulations, you earned this, and you worked very hard. All right, Carson, I hope you do successful in life. All right, bye, buddy. Congratulations, Derek. I'm so proud of you, my dude. I met Derek two years ago in my homeroom, grumpy and tired in the mornings. When I asked him what kind of muffin he wanted for breakfast, he would grunt and I would reply chocolate chip it is. I would constantly have to chase Derek to class shirtless 99% of the time. I always knew where Derek would be if he wasn't in class, including all the other IAC staff. The gym. D-Rock, I hope you are extremely proud of yourself. You would follow through with the goal of completing high school. You have had to overcome many obstacles that others do not have to face. If you show the same motivation and tenacity that you do on the basketball court, you will be able to do anything you set your mind to. Be proud of this achievement of getting your diploma. High school is just a small stepping stone to a large, wonderful world that I know you're gonna crush. 
Me and Ms. Galarza and all the IFC staff wish you the best of luck on your next adventure, whatever it may be. Shamaria, you did it. You finally have achieved getting your diploma. I met Shamaria last year. She had transferred from the 611s to the 8s. She was quiet at first, and I remember the staff from the 611s telling me Shamaria is quiet. No way. Well, I soon found out what a wonderful, fun personality she had on top of being extremely smart. I always remember the time Shamaria had gotten onto the loudspeaker and demanded that we pay for her lost ID. I promise you, Shamaria, we don't have it. You've worked so hard to achieve this goal, to be standing here today in your cabin gown. If you use the same determination and motivation, I know you will be successful in anything you set your mind to in the near future. If you ever need anything, just know that the IAC staff will always be here for you. I know me and Miss Jenny, your individual aide, who isn't here today, wanted to wish you the best of luck. And for the last time, Shamaria, no, we cannot go to the Bronx. students as they are presented with awards in the following categories, carpentry, culinary, barbering and cosmetology, and academic achievement. Hi everyone, so not the graduation that we all expected or wanted, but what IAC does best at these times is we all come together and we make it happen. All right, congratulations to all our graduating students who learned a new way of learning this year and they just rocked it. All right, I am presenting the James Spista Memorial Award. That award goes to a student that not only worked on projects of their own throughout the school year, but also helped other students on completing their own projects and also helped us in the shop class get our work done. That award this year, will go to Ken. Congratulations, Ken, on your award. I hope the future brings you not only happiness, but success. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so Student of the Year Award for Culinary Arts is gonna go to Shamaria Walker. So congratulations, Shamaria. Thanks for all the help all year long. You did a great job. Congrats on the award. It is great pleasure that I give this award to a Cosmetology or Barbering student. This award is the uh, Burt Lippman Mr. Beauty Award. Mr. Lippman is the founder of Mr. Beauty in Freeport who provides all of our schools with their equipment uh, and designs the classrooms. Since he passed away, this award was established especially for Islip Academic Center. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to a two-year student that I've had in my barber class, Mr. Floyd Jackson. This next award is for academic achievement. I'm subbing in for Mr. Charlie Tedesco, our guidance counselor. Mr. Tedesco says this following student has an 88.5 overall cumulative average for the school year. It is with great pleasure that I present the Islip Academic Center Academic Achievement Award to Ken McCourt. James Muller, the Assistant Principal of Isaac Academic Center. What an interesting school year this has been. Who would have known that we would be doing a virtual graduation? And as part of our virtual graduation, I would like to welcome our music teachers, Blake and Hannah, who will be performing a medley, and we will also be showing photographs of the school year.
yeah, let's get it, man. Yeah, thank you, Miss Shane. Thanks to my son, Rosso. Oh, I just know you ain't moving that with a bike and a honey store. Enjoyed this virtual graduation today. I can't believe how great it came out. We'd love to thank our wonderful and helpful graduation committee. What a wonderful job you did. Thank you to Miss Ritchie, Sam Nola, Luke Mahoney, Miss Lee, Sue Goltz, Tara Lee, Blake Faherty, and Hannah Hirama for your help on the committee. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Also to our clericals, Amanda and Andrea, who worked so diligently putting this all together. We could not do it without you. This graduation would not have been possible without Miss Samantha Tacoma. So please, everybody, give Miss Samantha Tacoma a hand. Um, she took her time out of her own life, her own busy life, to put the beautiful and fun video together. So thank you so much, Miss Tacoma. Also, a quick shout out to Mr. Tedesco, who worked tirelessly to make sure that all of you are on the right path to graduation. So let's thank Mr. Tedesco. And last but not least, our custodial staff, George, Steve, and Fran. And to all of our staff, you are all amazing and wonderful. And we thank you again so much. 
last, uh, just a quick word of wisdom. Um, that word is kindness. Um, the world out there can be tough. It can be full of pitfalls and frustrations. Graduates, all of you, please remember to try and always be kind. It's not always easy, but do good deeds, show other people kindness and show them love and you, can tr you will truly always be rich. We're so proud of all of you. We truly believe in all of you. Graduations are filled with age old traditions, some lasting back to 500, 600 years. One of those traditions involves the tassel on the cap you're wearing. We hope you're wearing. Um, graduates, you may now move your tassel from the right to the left. That signifies now that you are a high school graduate. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We wish you all the happiness in the world and we are so proud of you. Thank you all.